Hello, my name's Joe, and what we're going to be looking at today is how to create a simple material instance inside of Unreal Engine 5. If you find this useful, please do like, subscribe, and hit that bell as it really helps me out and shows me I'm going in the right direction. So what we're uh, going to do is create a material instance. And what material instance is, is essentially you create a master material, and then you spawn off of, well, I say spawn, you create instances of that material and what this allows you to do is allows you to basically use one main material to create hundreds essentially or you know maybe just five whatever different variations of materials and allows you to create parameters in there that can uh, help you control things and uh, all sorts so what we're going to do here is um, I've set up a scene with just three simple cubes nothing special about them and I found some textures on uh, the internet and uh, First thing we're going to do is right click material and we're going to M. I name my master material only because then I know exactly what it is and we're going to double click on this. Um, so, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to drag one of our materials in and we're going to plug that into the base color. Um, so, we're then going to hold one on the keyboard and I'm just for the sake of this, you can apply text just to these or whatever, but for this, just for this, I'm going to be using just a. a uh, constant nodes here. So I've held one and clicked, left clicked on the mouse to get these. So I've got one, two, and we're going to plug that one into uh, metallic and one into roughness. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the roughness to one and we're going to leave the metallic value as it is. Now, um, again, we can, you know, if you have your normal maps, metallic maps, such, we can, you know, plug these into like this into the relevant sections. But for the purpose of this, just keep it simple. This is what we're doing. So what we can then do is right click on our texture here and we can convert this to a parameter, I believe it is. Um, and we're gonna name this uh, base color, uh, base color texture. And then we're gonna right click on this one, convert to parameter, we'll name this metallic, um, but spell right. And we're gonna right click on this one and name it roughness. So. What these do is these expose the, the values of these to our material instance. So to show you, we're going to save this. Always make sure we save. Wait for it to do what it's got to do. And close this. And now we're going to right click on our master material and select create material instance. We'll give this a name. So name this uh, uh, floor V1. And we're just going to drag that onto our object. So you can see straight away here, we've got our texture. So what we can do is we can open this up, and now we have those three things, uh, three uh, uh, things in our master material exposed here. So now what we can do is we can say click on roughness, and we want this shiny. So we can drag that down, and um, you can see here we just quickly put the value in. Now our our texture here is now shiny, and um, we can say well we want it to be more metallic. Um, you can see it's more metallic. Um, so what we can do here then is that we've created one material and what we can do is we can then go, we're going to create uh, two more material instances off of this and we're going to name these uh, MI floor V2, MI4 floor V3 and we're going to apply these text to other two textures to it. So we're just going to drag those onto there and we're going to select our base color and what we can do is drag that into our material instance hit save and we can go to number three tick base color drag that in and hit save now you can see straight away we've got our uh, materials so now what we can do is that if we want to make a change to any of these i'm just going to name that mi2 okay if we want to make a change to say say we wanted to add a color blend in here uh, hue or saturation blend you know if you each if each of these had a separate material you'd have to go in and do this to each material now with the master material what we can do is we can click on the master material and um, give some space here I believe if you type uh, right click type hue and we're gonna plug our texture in there and base color there and then what we're going to do is we're going to hold one and we're going to plug that in there. And then we're going to right click on our constant here, convert to parameter, and we're going to say this is hue shift. So what this is going to do is that's going to add what we've just done here 
to all of those instances. So in theory. So we'll click on this one because it's the, the most noticeable. As you can see here now, we've got one called Hue Shift. So we can go in here and go say 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, etc. We can even drag it um, wherever you want to go. And you can see here instantly it's changing it. But that has also applied that Hue Shift uh, button to all of the uh, uh, tick box uh, function to all of these materials. So you can see here instantly that as you come up with ideas, you want to add things, you want to add normal maps, you can just go to your master material, add something, whatever you need to add in here, and it instantly adds it to all material instances of that, so you're not having to do it for every single, so imagine if you had like 100 materials, there's no way you're going to go through every material and do that. It's also, from what I understand, better for uh, performance of Unreal Engine, because I think when, say, you were to use this on the floor here, um, on the chair over here, this will uh, create an instance of this material so it's not continuously loading, say, three materials, if that makes sense. It's loading just from that one instance of it. So uh, hopefully this has helped, and if it has, great.